Great team brokered by Phyllis Brown and Company. My husband Gabriel and I, he's always behind the camera. Uh, we're here to show you another beautiful luxury video here today in Terra Hills in a beautiful neighborhood. And I'm telling you guys, this video is unskippable. The architecture is luxurious, the quality is top notch, and we need to check out this home on Tuttle. But as always, Gabriel and I, there's that great team, San Antonio's World to Couple. We bring you beautiful luxury listings that are in San Antonio and surrounding cities. So please don't miss a video. Please subscribe. You don't want to miss it. This house is truly a gem. You need to see it because it's one of a kind. Let's go talk to David. Hi, David. Hey, Christina. How, How are you? Good, good, good. So glad you guys can make it today. Uh, thank yeah. you. And on this heat today. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. But it's you know okay, what? This though, house Texas. is hot. Yeah, this house is super hot. <laughs> so it matches. It's an amazing house, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. From the, from the street, it looks so small, but it's almost 5,000 square feet. Like when you're looking at it from the front, you go, ah, it couldn't be much more than 2,000 square foot, one story house. It's uh, almost 5,000 square feet. The back of the house is two stories, but you can't tell because the lot kind of slopes away from the from the front. Okay. Uh, and it's an unbelievable uh, contemporary timber frame, Mediterranean uh, uh, architectural style. You've got guest parking up front here. Okay. And then you've got a gate, and that gate leads down a driveway to a four-car garage in the back of the house that you can't see from the street. It's really quite a fantastic uh, layout here. I, I can't wait to show you. Let's go inside. I love the layout, and the front yard is just stunning already. Yeah, it's really nice, right? <laughs> well, welcome to this, uh, unbelievable house. I'm so glad that uh, that you were able to come in and um, one of the things that's really striking I think upon entry that most people don't like wrap their head around from the outside is how long the house is so that the property is almost four tenths of an acre and the mm. house goes from front to back through the entire property. Yeah. So this corridor is around a hundred feet long and it connects the front of the house which is the common spaces with the back of the house which is what the owner calls the intimate spaces. But immediately upon entry here, you've got this great executive office and library to the right. Mm -hmm. And then to the left, you've got the, the half bath, the powder room, completely decked out with high-end finishes. Yes. That's where the, the first time you'll see the alabaster sconces that are throughout the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you see this, there's, there's really cool variety in all the uh, bathrooms on like the level of detail in the sinks and the tile on the wall. Cambria quartz throughout, except for in a couple places, and I'll point that out as well. Uh, it's just a, I mean, it's a, it's a very inviting entry. Yeah. I was about to say, you know, some people they're like, I want something grand, but mm -hmm. even with how cozy this feels, it's still grand. It has that grand feeling yeah. and just looking at everything. Like my eyes don't want to stop looking. Cause I'm like, am I missing something? <laughs> right. Well, and, and if you just look long, right? Like you, you come into some of these houses and, and you see that like wall. The, yeah. Well, <laughs> or you see like uh, it's a short, it's a, it's a narrow house with a window in the back looking at the pool, right? Uh -huh. What the owners wanted to do to add depth is they put the stained glass window all the way at the end. And as you're looking down the hallway at the stained glass window, which is a piece of art that was designed in Tampico, Mexico, or was built in Tampico, Mexico, based on a, a painting that the owner had. Um, the, if you look through the wavy banister at mm -hmm. the sand sea and air in the, uh, uh, in the, the stained glass mirror, it almost looks like you're looking through a heat mirage at a long distance yeah. through the desert. So it adds a really a lot of depth and, and, it does. Uh, and, and some like a elegance wall. to it. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. Exactly I would right. love to go check out the office though. Yeah, let's check it out. I know, I, I feel like we're drawn to like the mirage. <laughs> right. But let's head yeah, yeah. to the office. Yeah. So I love how this little corridor here, just kind of coming straight, you have just these built-ins, drawers, uh, shelves. Yeah. It's wonderful. And yeah, then, so, so this is one of the few places where they chose not to use the Cambria Quartz uh, for the, it's more of a, a workman-like uh, desktop uh, with this leathered granite uh, mm -hmm. material and then of course the built-ins and, the, uh, um, and the bookshelf. Uh, and the, the bookshelf that we walked through, the, the library that we walked through, yeah. plenty of space for your, you know, whether you're a writer and you've got your research uh, books up or, or, uh, or you just want to come in here and read. And you've got this great window that gives you, you know, beautiful, because this street is so partner. beautiful. It's such a serene setting no matter where you're at in the house. And I like mm -hmm. how you were pointing out the bathroom and you kind of were like, there's like a variations throughout the home, mm -hmm. but it's also cohesive. Right. There's consistency yes. still. So the quality is just... Yes. 
it's throughout the entirety of the home. So stay tuned till the end so you can, I can prove myself right. Uh, the, the owner wanted to create a wine space where you could come in, select a bottle of wine, you can actually use this folding table here to uncork it and even have your drink in here. It's 100 degrees outside. It's <laughs> 55 degrees and humidity controlled in this room. It is absolutely perfect. You can put about 500 uh, uh, bottles in the, in the storage. You can see through the kitchen. If you're in the kitchen, you can tell your husband or wife, grab that one and then they can go in and get it. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Cedar lined walls, completely climate controlled with the Chillmax system that only uh, cools this room. The house has four uh, AC systems, one for the wine room, one for the front of the house, and then one each for the upstairs and downstairs in the back of the house. So this has its own system completely. So if you're a wine connoisseur, this home is perfect for you. Put in an offer today. That's right, we're ready. <laughs> we'll even throw in some nice bottles. <laughs> Only the best of the best. Got uh, so it. the kitchen, as you come to this intersection here, and again, the front of the house is all one level. Uh, you've got this nice little passageway that goes into the, the uh, it's, a, it's basically a, a small butler's pantry, and there's a ton of storage. When you take a look at this kitchen, mm. the amount of storage is unbelievable. This 10 foot long island I has love the drawers and cabinets on either side. Oh my and then you've gosh. got a prep sink overlooking the wine room. And then you've got your, your farmhouse sink undermounted all with this Cambria course. There's like 40 feet of countertop at wow. least, maybe even more. Uh, so you've got tons and tons of drawers. You've got a few upper cabinets, but really most of your uh, storage space is in drawer space uh, throughout. One of the things I like to point out to people is uh, the, the, the fixture chosen for this room, uh, this chandelier, because the ceiling has so much depth and is so large, what you don't get a sense for is how huge that thing is. That's bigger than a washing machine hanging above the island right there. It's a massive chandelier. So the kitchen is a main, like one of the main gathering parts of the home. And mm -hmm. this, this kitchen is just like, come on in, come on in. Let's gather around, let's eat. And I love how there's a fridge here, mm -hmm. but a freezer over there. That's so, right. So yeah, lots of food. Yeah. So yeah, you have got, you know, completely, uh, you know, the, the fridge really in the space closer to where you're doing most of your main prep. Uh, and then the way they designed it is instead of having your traditional walk-in pantry, you've almost got like a partial back kitchen back here. Mm. So your, your uh, in-wall oven and microwave and your freezer are tucked away sort of out of the, uh, the main kitchen area along with a couple of pantry closets. So the pantry really is all of these drawers plus these closets here and you've got a back kitchen on the back half of the, of the uh, you know, what, what is normal, what is, traditionally you'd have all of those appliances sort of in this area. Um, all of the appliances in the house are decor with the exception of the cooling drawers, which are over here by the, uh, by the prep sink. So if you have a bunch of vegetables that you're going to be uh, prepping for a meal, or you've got some salads that you're gonna put out later, you put them in these cooling drawers, keep them nice and chilled. And you've got warming drawers underneath the uh, underneath the cooktop on the other side. Of course, you've got this great six burner uh, gas cooktop. You've got a pot filler. Uh, this tile, both the uh, the backsplash and this uh, uh, tile mosaic, uh, made by a Wemberly Company uh, here in Wemberly, Texas. All a very special run of uh, of tile. Not something you can just go buy at Floor and Decor. So it's quite beautiful. Hashtag support local. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now what's this way? Okay, so you go in here, um, a couple of things I'll point out. One is the, the garage is all the way in the back of the house, but you've got a side door here by the kitchen. So if you're coming in or you've got some helpers that are coming in and bringing groceries, uh, they can stop right here by the kitchen, open the door and, and offload all the groceries here. And of course you can fit a full size washer and dryer. It's definitely needed, especially with a house this size. And one of the neat little features they put in this, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a quite large utility room. And then uh, kind of went old school here. So if you remember from Good old you know, fashioned ironing board. These, 50s, <laughs> these 1950s houses that had built in ironing mm -hmm. boards and that was the height of luxury back then. <laughs> and so they kind of did a throwback here with this, uh, with this ironing board. It's quite nice. You don't have to That's worry really about cute. storing it anywhere. I, it's, it's cute, so. Yeah. And just like in the kitchen and you said like they took advantage of all of the like anywhere you could put storage, yeah. it's there. All so that's the just yep. kind of 
point of fact. Just pointing yeah. that out. So this room seems a bit empty. What, uh, what is it? Yeah, so this is, this is the fifth bedroom of the house, right off the laundry room and the kitchen. And the idea here is this bedroom, full closet, full bath behind uh, to my left. And of course, a, you know, a decent sized closet with built-ins. The idea is if you've got a nanny or a live-in, you know, live-in service provider, they've got their own room, they've got their own full ensuite bath. This room can also easily become a workout room or a second office too. So it is the fifth bedroom in the home, but it has a lot of other uses. The home has five bedrooms and every bedroom has its own ensuite bath. This is just the first. We'll see the other four here shortly. Perfect. Now coming mm -hmm. through here mm -hmm. is one of the living rooms. Yep. So this living space is designed to be sort of the intimate family room, right? It's right off the kitchen. Um, it's got its own separate surround sound system that's tied to the television. Uh, so that you can, if you're watching a movie here, and the idea would be you probably have some, some uh, automatic blackout shades, which haven't been installed yet. That's really a taste specific thing for the buyer. Uh, but you can black this room out. You can put a movie on with surround sound. You can sneak into the kitchen and get some popcorn if you want. Movie night, I love it. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think this home is just perfect for it entertaining Agreed. speaking of enter yeah. what are we about to enter now all right so one of the things i haven't pointed out yet but you've probably seen it throughout is the house flows from this travertine to this uh, this white oak plank mm -hmm. uh, and so and so those are the two main floor types throughout the house uh, so you move into this this is really your formal dining and your formal living uh, space so the formal dining space big enough for a you know you could get quite a large table in here you could probably seat 12. this is a smaller mm -hmm. table really it seats uh, seat six, but you could probably get a table uh, twice as long in here pretty easily. And it has direct access to the, uh, the pool patio uh, going from this room. One of the really cool things about this too is we've got the Sonos app here, surround sound throughout the house. And so we turn on the music here. Uh, and, Go give me you know, some wine, can... David. Let's party. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So it's a great entertaining space and then it flows into this phenomenal Oh, uh, living room. Great I mean, this word. Living room is huge. You can see the the timber framing mm. in the in the ceiling. All of these fixtures, by the way, are restoration hardware fixtures. Mm. And then, of course, this floor to ceiling. It's both gas and or wood fireplace. Uh, this is a limestone base, Douglas fir mantle, and then a bronzed stucco uh, <sighs> chimney that goes up to the top. And I love it. You know, this is its own little part of the home, but still, it just the consistency, the quality is just unmatched. And yeah. I like how this matches the one right over there. That's so it's right. just different, different variations throughout the home. Yeah. I love it, it has so much character. So um, one of the things, I can't remember if I pointed this out already, but throughout the house, you've got these sconces on the wall. These are alabaster shades. They're, they're custom uh, and they're consistent throughout the house as well. It's really uh, quite a, quite a um, elegant detail that the, uh, the designer, the designer is Stephanie Georgia Lakis. Okay. Uh, she's a she's a very um, thorough and and uh, classy uh, designer that, yeah. that has done most of the work on this house for the owner. And then of course, if you're having a party and you've got your music, you better if you buy this house, you better be having a party every weekend and inviting holidays us, right? and inviting all, all right. of us. <laughs> so we'll turn the music up a little bit. Great all music right. choice, David. <laughs> And then we come out here and we've got the music out here on the pool deck. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's like a movie set, you know, or a movie really scene. Is. You go inside, you grab your martini, yeah. come out with your <laughs> shoes and you sit by the pool. I love it. It really is. So, <laughs> uh, so this pool deck is about 800 square feet of living space just wow. out here between, and it's on three levels. So you've got a level where you walk out right from the, from the uh, primary bedroom down there at the corner which, I mean, it's perfect. You can walk out right to the pool deck. You can walk out two different levels from the, from the middle of the house, or you can walk out from this living area at the top level. So, And I can imagine, maybe not during the summertime because it gets hot, but like during the spring and autumn mm -hmm. parts, uh, when it starts to cool down or there's a nice breeze, just having everything open and yeah. just uh, airing out the home and just having a fun, fun time. And so I think also, you know, one of the things that you can imagine with the stairs going up, um, if you're raising, let's say you're raising daughters in this house and they've gotten to the point where they're getting married, what a great place for a wedding. Aww. Don't you think? Can't like, forget the sons either, <laughs> David. <laughs> but yes, so, absolutely wonderful. It's 
That's a great idea. And so the other, the other thing about this, uh, the way the house is designed is um, this area is designed for evening shade. So that's why the sun's not beating down on us right now. Mm. And the evening sun is on the is in the other patio. Nice. The other patio is really for like your morning coffee and we'll check that out in here in a little bit. Perfect. But this is the evening shade and, and it's a place to come hang out after work and of course take a dip in the pool. I love when architecture works with nature. Yeah. You know, they're like, okay, let's make this the morning, the day part of the home and this the part of the night, night and, part of the home. And that was done very intentionally um, and it was done intentionally and the, the house was uh, built into the lot on purpose this way. Oh my God, amazing. Such a great lot selection too. Yeah. This is a beautiful addition to the home as well. Right. So we're building a, I, the, the owner is putting a, a grape arbor here and there's one on the other side of the house as well. Um, I think we should probably go back inside though. I and was go actually down just about to say the same <laughs> thing. I'm like, hey, it's a little hot. <laughs> Come on. So I want to point out that even though there's designated spaces for each room, it mm -hmm. still feels very open. Yeah, it's got it, every every space is so big. You never get a feeling like you're closed in, and you've got length and depth everywhere you go. This the changing in elevation here also uh, makes it really uh, feel more spacious. Uh, as you step down to the to the back half of the house, I do want to highlight this incredible natural light. So the the courtyard on the left and the patio on the right kind of separates the bedrooms from the common spaces up front, which are all on one level. Mm -hmm. So if you do have disabled guests, uh, they've got plenty of space up front that they don't have to worry about any stairs. Uh, but yeah. then you've also got uh, access through the doors at the same level as the uh, as the downstairs bedroom in the back. I love that. So I know I know that probably if you, you know you work from home these days, right? Mm -hmm. You're going back and forth. It's kind of like bringing the outside in. Yeah. You know, you're one with the home, yeah. one with nature. Agreed. I mean, other than the other than the uh, conditioned air, which is very nice <laughs> when it's 95 <laughs> degrees outside. You're standing right here. You really feel like you're outside. You've got the the Zen Garden courtyard on this side. You've got the water feature in the pool behind you. It's fantastic. One thing no, I do want to point out yes, too is- Yes, the intricate uh, details. So, so the, um, the designer put together uh, this list of finishes and she, she started with these um, lights. They were designed to be vertical, but she had them hung horizontal to match these upper windows. So there's a lot of continuity that you might not even notice unless somebody pointed it out to you. Yeah, and that, you know this home, it's, it's going to be fine. This home, you know, sometimes you walk through home, you're like, oh, I don't know if this would appeal to the male buyers. Or sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know if this would appeal to the female buyers. But this is a beautiful mixture of just masculinity, femininity. Yeah. I love the, the just the whole entire part of this home. <laughs> and now one of the most important parts of the home besides the kitchen and the pool, right? Yeah. We're in the primary. Yeah, everybody loves a huge primary suite mm -hmm. and this is this room I and mean, that's a king size bed look how big it is look how much space there is around it uh, and then you add all of this outdoor space that's accessible through the sliding glass window it really almost feels like the pool is part is part of your bedroom these beautiful uh, timber frame coffered ceiling i mean it's it's just stunning in here I know, it's just like a little oasis, you know, yeah. just like a little getaway. And I like yeah. how uh, it's separate separate from the, the front of the home. So it's like, yep. this is the relaxing half. That's the party half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so coming in here to the bathroom, you got the walk-in shower, the, uh, the water closet, yep. but this beautiful feature is in here. I really want to focus on this part. Yeah, so you've got this uh, standalone soaking tub. And then of course you've got this uh, really nice double vanity. All of the mirrors in the in the primary are these smart uh, mirror LED mirrors. So if you're, you know, if you got to tweeze your eyebrows, you turn the light up or whatever. <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's really thoughtfully designed. This is another very special uh, tile that's been put on the wall to give some some. Uh, uh, texture exquisite texture mm -hmm. yeah so and i like how the mirrors they have warm light cool mm -hmm. light natural light so you know that's a great feature to have yeah. coming from a woman mm -hmm. <laughs> now right. coming through here i noticed when we did our first walkthrough mm -hmm. that really cool unique feature and i really hope gabriel can capture it is mm -hmm. when i was walking through this closet to this half it's kind of like you have two lights, it's very mirrored. It looks like yeah. as if there's a, a mirror there. It's yeah. it's trippy. I love it's it. A, it's identical halves to each closet. The owners wanted to put these built-ins in so you could avoid having too much furniture in the, in the primary. So you've got uh, drawer space, you've got plenty of space for shoes. And then they decided to leave this half of both closets open for the new owner to decide whether they want more hanging clothes or they want to put more built-ins in. So there's plenty of space to do more than just what's in the closet at this time. And there's a cute little chandelier. 
there, right when you look up, right when you answer. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, every room's got one of these these uh, crystal chandeliers They're in it. so adorable. So yeah. walking straight across this part. Yeah, so straight across the downstairs uh, hallway, uh, we come into this guest suite. Uh, guest suite has a beautiful walk-in closet with built-ins as well, mm -hmm. an ensuite uh, bath, which we'll check out in a minute. But here's one of my favorite parts of the whole house. And it's not just this coffee bar with its own, uh, with its own uh, uh, fridge, sink, probably ability to, you know, you could put your, uh, your coffee pot here, maybe a hot plate or whatever. Yes. Uh, but it's also got access to this patio outside. And so you get up in the morning, you're a guest in somebody's house, it's 5.30, you don't want to wake up everybody, but you want to go outside and read. You make your coffee and you step out here onto this patio and now you've got your own little space. This is designed for morning shade. So really as the sun's coming up, it's not beating down on you. Here, on you. You're sitting here, one of these chairs next to the fountain, really just enjoying your, uh, enjoying your book and your coffee or whatever you're doing uh, to, uh, to start your day off. It is so zen out here mm -hmm. and when Gable and I see good landscaping, we really want to shout out to the yeah. person who did it. So can you talk more about that? Yeah, so um, one of my personal favorites, and I've worked with them quite a bit, uh, is Ryan Schultz from Schultz Landscaping. Okay. Schultz Landscaping, is a, they're a big company. Ryan is a landscape architect by, by, uh, by education. And, uh, and he, he came in and basically drew up the space in about 25 minutes. Uh, wow. presented it to the owner and then it took it took his guys about two days to create it so it was kind of an empty space before and, uh, and it didn't have a lot of thought put into it because it hadn't been designed mm -hmm. he did the design work and then he, he he always makes his designs come to reality which is nice very yeah. zen please give him like the highest compliment yeah. ever from us because this is like it's it's, it's perfect pretty, right? it's so gorgeous and i love how you know you can come down these steps or you can come out this door and everything sort of allows you access to the to the stepping stones, right? It's so, easily like a movable. It's yeah. just where you feel welcomed into yep. that space. And I was telling you earlier, I was like, this is how you get people, like if you have family coming over, you're like, we don't want them to leave. Right. This is the house yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that will convince sure. them to not leave. This is a great house. So one of the one of the phenomenons in real estate that's becoming more and more uh, more and more of a of a thing, I think, than it ever has before is um, this idea of the grandparents buying this pad that's going to keep their mm. kids and grandkids coming all the time. Yes. And this is a perfect house for that. I there's a lot of space for everybody to have their own space, but at the same time, there's a lot of fun stuff for the kids exactly. to do. Exactly. So. I completely agree. Mm -hmm. And this is adorable as well. And I love how it's just, it's unique. Yeah. The alabaster sconces though throughout the house are, are kind of a staple. And this has a really nice, a uh, good size walk-in shower with some really cool uh, tile design details inside. So now the bedrooms upstairs, are they very similar to this, to the size? Yeah, so the, so the way that um, the, the house is laid out is the, the bedrooms upstairs are a mirror image of the bedrooms downstairs. The only difference is this is the only bedroom that has the, uh, the coffee bar. So the upstairs bedroom above this does not have the coffee bar in it. Perfect. And as we were walking upstairs, I noticed a few closets up there as well. So yeah. again, just utilizing as much square footage as they can. So yeah, perfect. The house, the house has unbelievable closet space. Well, I do want to show you one cool <laughs> thing here to too. Say. So what's that? <laughs> so one of the uh, one of the really cool things about this house are just the way the lines uh, are, are designed. And so there's a great shot if you uh, if you look up from this angle and you can see sort of the the details of how the uh, um, the, the, the staircase, the Very rounded whimsical. staircase. Yeah, it is. It's mm -hmm. whimsical. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Of course, well. the solid wood, you know, stairs with the, with the uh, level one finish everywhere to include on the risers uh, or level five finish. I mean, on the walls. It's level it, one or five, the highest one, five. And if y'all know me <laughs> and y'all know me mm -hmm. on YouTube, I love color. So this is such a beautiful. Yeah addition it's a great ad i know you were mentioning it earlier but is there a reason why they pick these specific colors do you know yeah so this was this was actually a painting uh from a uh a, a painting from a uh, a local artist that mm -hmm. they purchased the, the painting is called endless summer mm. and the idea is um sand sea and sky and they just took that painting down to tampico along with the dimensions for this window and they had the stained glass artisans replicate it with stained glass. I yeah. love 
of it and it kind of goes with the, the wrought iron here yep. too so I'm not going to open it, but every house has to have a, uh, you know, in, in this day and age, has to have a uh, internet closet. Yeah. So this is where all the internet fixtures in the house are. The Most everything's wireless now, and there's wireless access points throughout the house, but uh, that's where the hub is. And I really like how this part, too, you can see down and they yeah. can see up, so it just adds fresh air. This could have been yeah. closed off, and I think it would have just made the space feel more, a little cluttered, or not yeah. cluttered, but congested. Yeah, stuffy. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they tried to keep it open wherever they could, so... So the, uh, this bedroom here is a replica of the, of the downstairs primary, mm -hmm. exact same layout, except obviously no sliding glass door to the pool because you'd fall. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, just install a, a slide, you know, from the window. <laughs> you can do a slide to the pool from here. But here's the chandelier that you talked about. The other thing is, the, if you remember, the downstairs uh, primary has the, the timber frame ceiling. This has a vaulted ceiling here. So it still gives you a good sense of space and the size is, is exactly the same. Yeah, I love the size and just again, when there's a lot of natural light, you have all these windows, you can see everything, it's stunning. So this is the side of the pool. So of course this bedroom is on the side of the patio. Correct. The Zen courtyard. The Zen, yes. <laughs> the Zen courtyard, patio, serene spot. Yep. And again, beautiful chandelier as yep, well. Another chandelier, vaulted ceiling. Of course, your, uh, um, your walk-in closet uh -huh. there. And another very interesting uh, tile choice, right? So this is a little bit more masculine, uh, but it is a very cool sort of a glass block tile. And then this, this uh, walk-in shower has your frameless glass, so. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned, I, I mean, I have a few favorite parts of this home, but there's mm -hmm. one more favorite part of the home that I think a lot of people are like, seriously? that part of the home is going to be a favorite part of the home. So let's go check it out because mm -hmm. I think it's very impressive. Talking about the garage, aren't yep, you? Yep, I'm talking yeah, about the, the garage. garage. Is amazing <laughs> in this house. Wow. Oh my gosh. This so is huge. Yeah, it's like a it's like a bat cave or a cavern in here. It's so <laughs> massive. So it's this is a roll through four car tandem garage with workshop. Uh, and what's cool about this garage is that you can basically come in from either side I'll have to show you why that's possible because most people can't fathom actually being able to drive through a garage where the yeah. garage is on the back of the lot. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. And I love the epoxy floors. Yeah. That's just a beautiful addition to the home yeah. and not a lot of people do that. So I think that the fact that we did it is really, really cool. Yeah. And I love this workshop space. Yeah, it's great. I mean, you've got plenty of space to do your hobbies and crafts. You've even got room for a gym in here if you wanted to and still be able to park three cars with a gym. Absolutely. Uh, you see here, uh, the, the house has two tankless water heaters. The one, one for the back of the house is here in the garage. That's for the, the four bedrooms, and there's a separate tankless up front. Okay. And then here you've got, the, uh, uh, you've got your uh, water softener along with a bunch more storage in here. Very uh, cool. So it's really fantastic. And then um, the, uh, the, I can show, kind of show off the roll through feature if you want. I think, I think you everything should. in the house That's is wired. So <laughs> let's just see if we can get this to work here. So it's the MyQ app. And so if you're coming in from the front of the house, this is the driveway side. So there's a gate in the front, you drive down the driveway, you open this, and then if you get into the garage and you realize that you've forgotten something back at the grocery store, oh, crap. you I can just keep driving right on through and come out this side. <laughs> and the reason, the reason all this is possible is because the, uh, the house is on a working alley and the garage is actually adjacent to the alley. And so, um, on, the, uh, on the alley side of the house, there are two gates, one on either side of the, uh, uh, one on either side of the garage. So if you roll through the garage, you can roll right back out the gate here uh, in, into the alley. Oh my God, it's, it's so well thought of. It's yeah. like, wow, that's, how did I not think of that? Yeah. <laughs> and what's cool too is there's enough space here where if you have an RV or a boat, uh, you could easily back it into this space and leave it here and still have room to get a car in and out of the garage. It's really, you know, extra width, uh, width gate here. It's literally yeah. just begging people, come yeah. visit us and come stay with us for yeah. a little bit. <laughs> one, of, one of the things that makes this section of Tuttle Road special too, not all, not all of the streets in, in Terrell Hills have this feature and um, not even all of Tuttle Road, which is a great street in Terrell Hills, have this feature. But this section of Tuttle Road has a working alley. And so you never have to put your garbage cans in the front of the house. 
uh, you, the garbage truck comes in the back alley, you put your garbage out, and you never really have to see it, which is nice. You know, some places, you know, you come by on garbage day and there's garbage cans lining the street, but, but yeah. not here, not in this section of the house. And speaking of the location, it's a great neighborhood, great school district, mm -hmm. just great restaurants, great et yep. entertainment around, not that far from downtown or major highways. So in this area, what are some cool places to eat or do? So you are, um, I mean, you're about, you're, you're a little bit less than a mile from Broadway. On Broadway, you've got all the great restaurants that, you know, that, that, that people love there. Cappy's is there. Uh, you've got Paloma Blanca. You've got Bistro oh, 9. Yummy. You've got uh, a, a bunch of other, uh, like, entertaining places like Winchester's Pub. Um, I mean, there's just a ton of great stuff to do. It's, exactly. You know, uh, up on Austin Highway, you've got your kind of standard shopping experience as well. There's a lot of boutiques down in, uh, in um, uh, in Alamo Heights and Broadway, on Broadway as well. Nice. Well, yeah. David, I think we're at the end of our tour. Thank you so much for opening the gates for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're welcome. So if yeah. anybody has any questions, you were very thorough and very detailed throughout this whole thing, but just in case there's mm -hmm. an extra question, uh, how can they reach you? And tell us a little bit more about you. Take yeah. it away. All right, thanks. So, uh, so I lead the Abrams Real Estate Ties team. Uh, we've got about seven, uh, seven agents on the team. We're, uh, we, we handle uh, real estate uh, from here in kind of the Midtown area all the way up to New Braunfels and Bernie, and we've got teammates that are experts in all of those areas. Here in, uh, in, the, in the, you know, Terrell, in the Tri-Cities, right? Terrell Hills, Alma Heights, almost Park. Uh, I handle a lot of the uh, listing and buying uh, needs here. You can reach me at 210-667-7110, or you can check out all of our work at realestateties.com. That's www.realestateties.com. Uh, hope to hear from you. Thanks so much. Thanks well, so much thank for doing so this for much, me. Thank you so much, David. Yes, I appreciate truly it. Truly appreciate yeah. it. Your presence is always welcome here. Thanks. And uh, you guys need to come check out this listing in person. If, you, of course, you want to see it in person, you got to get in touch with David or with yeah. us. You can reach us at 210-504-5301. We're San Antonio's Realtor Couple. We help you buy, sell, invest in San Antonio and surrounding areas as well. Uh, if you have a luxury listing yourself that you want to be featured on our YouTube channel, hit us up and comment below and subscribe, 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 subscribe. I can't say that super fast, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much, David. Thanks for being here. I'm Christina Zachary, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>